Welcome to the Great Unlearning Channel with Chris Native. The Hero's Journey, Ego Death. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Alvin Toffler. In the hallowed halls of introspection, where the murmurs of ancient wisdom echo through the corridors of our being, you, the hero, is summoned to a journey not of the world but of the soul. This expedition, akin to the odyssey charted by all the great sages, invites us into the sanctum of self-discovery where the sacred fire of love illuminates the path to transcendence. This episode and its narrative is not by chance but by a call deep within, a call to dissolve into the boundless sea of consciousness where love transcends the limitations of the known. At the core of this divine exploration lies the essence of self-knowledge, the yoga of transcendent knowledge. Yet, it is understood that this knowledge is not for the mere accumulation of facts but serves as a lantern, guiding us through the maze of the ego, a fortress built against the very essence of love. This fortress, constructed from the bricks of language and thought, stands as a bulwark against the vulnerability love invites. The quest for liberation begins not with the battle cry but with the whisper, a gentle turning inward to the witness of our thoughts and defenses. It is here, in the quietude of self-inquiry, that we discern the illusory nature of the egoic eye, a phantom masquerading as the true self. This realization beckons us to shed the layers of identity tied to body and mind, to unveil the unblemished self that dances in the realm of eternal bliss. As we traverse this path, guided by the luminous teachings of sages like Sri Ramana Maharshi and echoed in the mystical verses of Rumi, we encounter the ineffable truth, our true nature remains untouched by the tribulations of the ego. Despite the shadows cast by past traumas and the cynicism that may cloud our hearts, the essence of our being is an unchanging symphony of love, a love that knows no bounds, that embraces all of creation. To dwell in this state of divine love, we are invited to employ the mind not as a tool for domination, but as a vessel for discernment. It is through the relinquishment of the ego's idols, those transient joys tethered to material gain or sensory pleasure, that we find our return to the sacred emptiness beyond thought. In this sanctified void, liberation and fulfillment blossom, not as achievements to be grasped, but as the natural state of our being. Yet, the journey does not end with the silencing of the mind, for the true self, the self beyond conception, does not engage in the trivialities of thought. It exists in a state of omniscience, where knowledge flows freely from the wellspring of superconsciousness, guided by the unbreakable bond of love with the infinite intelligence that is our innermost self. This narrative we weave is not one of solitary ascendance but a collective voyage to the heart of existence led by the luminaries who have walked this path before us. From the ancient sages of China to the mystical poets of Persia, we are reminded that the key to the kingdom of self-realization lies in our willingness to embrace the madness of divine love. It is in stepping beyond the confines of logic and reason that we find the courage to leap into the abyss of the unknown, trusting in the benevolence of the cosmos. For it is now becoming increasingly understood, even by the custodians of modern science, that consciousness is the substratum of all reality. The paradigms of yesteryears, grounded in materialism, crumble under the weight of this revelation. The universe, far from being a random assembly of particles, emerges as a coherent expression of a transcendent intelligence, a love that orchestrates the cosmos with an ineffable grace. To liberate oneself from the idols of the mind is to recognize the ego for the illusion it is, a figment born of fear and separation. As we let go of the narratives that bind us, we awaken to the reality of our true self, the I am, that exists beyond time and space, beyond the ephemeral dramas of existence. This I am, the beacon of pure awareness, once freed from the shackles of doubt and paranoia, realizes itself as complete as the embodiment of bliss and oneness. In this sacred dialogue between the seeker and the sought, between the teachings of ancient wisdom and the heart's longing for truth, we discover the essence of self-realization. It is a journey beyond the mind, a journey from the illusion of separation to the realization of oneness, where every step is an act of love, every breath a hymn of unity. As the hero embarks on this daunting voyage, navigating the turbulent seas of self-inquiry and the dismantling of the ego, there emerges a story not just of courage but of profound transformation. 
This journey, though marked by trials and tribulations, is illuminated by the inner light of awareness guiding the hero towards the realization of their true essence. It is a path that demands bravery, for to confront the ego is to face the very illusions that have offered false sanctuary from the vastness of the unknown. In this sacred expedition, the hero encounters the specters of past wounds, the shadows of fear and doubt that have long shackled the heart. Each step forward is a testament to the hero's resolve, a willingness to traverse the darkness in search of the ineffable light of truth. It is in the depths of this darkness that the ego begins to unravel, its foundations shaken by the power of conscious awareness. The hero, standing at the precipice of the ego's demise, faces the ultimate test to let go completely, to surrender to the void where the ego ceases to exist. This moment of surrender, though fraught with uncertainty, is the crucible of transformation. It is here, in the deck throes of the ego, that the hero discovers the profound beauty of emptiness, the fertile ground from which new life emerges. The dismantling of the ego, once feared as an annihilation of the self, reveals itself to be the birthplace of liberation. In this sacred emptiness, devoid of the ego's clamor, a profound silence pervades, a silence pregnant with potential. From this silence arises a new vision of being, a self not confined by the narrow identities and desires of the ego but expansive, boundless, and imbued with the essence of pure awareness. This new self, born from the ashes of the ego, shines with the brilliance of the infinite, a radiant beacon of love and wisdom. A hero, reborn in this light, embodies the ultimate realization that they are not a separate entity struggling against the cosmos, but an integral thread in the fabric of existence, woven from the fabric of consciousness itself. The journey thus transforms from a solitary quest into a universal hymn of unity and love. The hero, now a sage, walks the earth with a heart open to the boundless beauty of creation, a witness to the divine play of existence. Their presence becomes a mirror, reflecting the truth of our interconnectedness, our shared essence as manifestations of the divine. As the narrative weaves its way towards its conclusion, we stand in awe of the hero's journey, a journey that echoes in the depths of our own being, calling us to embark on our own quest for truth. This story of bravery, of the willingness to face the darkness and emerge into the light of understanding, serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration. It reminds us that in the depth of the ego, we find not oblivion but awakening, not loss but the discovery of an eternal home within the boundless heart of existence. This tale of transcendence, where the hero bravely surrenders the illusory self, ignites a flame in the hearts of all who hear it. It speaks to the part of us that yearns for liberation, that knows, deep down, the truth of our infinite nature. As the ego dissolves, what arises in its stead is a being of pure light, a soul unfettered by the confines of fear and separation, dancing in the eternal embrace of love. The hero's journey, then, is not merely a path walked by the few but a call to all humanity, an invitation to discover the divinity within. It is a reminder that within each of us lies the courage to let go, to die to the old self, and in doing so, to be reborn into the fullness of our true essence. This rebirth, witnessed with awe and wonder, reveals the hero in each of us, radiant with the glory of self-realization, a testament to the transformative power of love. In the penultimate moments of this epic narrative, we are reminded of the exquisite beauty of the hero's bravery. It is a bravery not marked by battles won in the external world, but by the quiet, relentless courage to face the inner darkness and emerge into the light of truth. The hero, in their vulnerability and strength, becomes a beacon of hope, a living testament to the possibility of transcending the ego and awakening to the boundless love that is our true nature. As this narrative draws to a close, we are left with a sense of profound admiration and inspiration, a call to embark on our own journey of self-discovery. The hero's path, fraught with challenges and graced with the beauty of awakening, beckons us to explore the depths of our own being, to dissolve the illusions that bind us, and to awaken to the infinite love that resides within. It is a journey back to the heart of existence, a return to the source from which we all emanate, where we find not just ourselves but the unity of all life, forever dancing in the light of divine love. This, then, is our invitation to transcendence, to dance in the flames of divine love, where the self is not diminished but expanded, where the ego's idols fall away to reveal the eternal presence that is our true home. In this dance, we are not mere spectators but participants in the divine play of existence, co-creators of a reality rooted in love, guided by the wisdom that flows from the heart of silence.
Ooh.